I've highlighted the important points here. Uh, the two crates are lying on a rough inclined plane and then they're accelerating up the plane with an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second. And then there's a frictional force between the plane and the crate. Uh, for the 4 kg crate, the frictional force is 1 newton. And then for the 6 kg crate, the frictional force is 1.5 newtons. And then 2.2, uh, 2.2 is saying that uh, let's draw a labeled free body diagram for the 6 kg crate. So let's go ahead and do that, right? Uh, so before we even think of anything, whether the object is lying on a horizontal surface, inclined or hanging, we're always going to have the weight, right? So we have weight. We must always start with that. And then from there on, is the object lying on a surface or not? Because if it is lying on a surface, then we must have a normal force, right? Let's have a normal force perpendicular to the surface. So there we go, we have a normal force. And then from there on, uh, we can see that uh, we have a force applied. So let's go ahead and have that. And then there's a frictional force of 1.5 Newtons. So let's put that there, the frictional force of uh, 1.5 Newtons. And then the two blocks are connected by a string. So we must have the tangent force somewhere there, right? And then one, two, three, four, five and i think we're good to go so now let's do 2.3 which is saying that let's calculate the magnitude of force f exerted on the 6 kg crate we know fully well that uh, for the 6 kg block right for the 6 kg block we know fully well that f net is equal to m a so what do we do from here uh, along the forces acting parallel to the surface we're going to say the biggest force minus all the forces opposing the motion is equal to ma so what is the force that is pulling our objects uh, that is f right what we're looking for and then subtract all the forces that are opposing the motion uh, frictional force is opposing the motion and then tangent force is opposing the motion with regards to the 6 kg block and then another force which you might miss is fg parallel right because the weight has a parallel component which is pulling the 6 kg object down so here we're gonna have minus fg parallel being equals to m a right uh, so from there on uh, we're gonna have f minus frictional force which is 1.5 for the 6 kg block right and then minus the tension which seems like we don't know what it is for the moment so we're just gonna have that there and then minus fg parallel fg parallel is going to be uh, the mass which is 6 kgs multiplied by 9.8 sine of the angle right sine of 30 degrees and then this is equals to ma uh, m is 6 and then a is 2.5 right so now uh, we can go ahead and say that the force minus tension minus 30.9 being equals to 6 multiplied by 2.5, right? So if we make uh, the force the subject of the formula, we're going to get the force being equals to 6 multiplied by 2.5 plus 30.9 plus the tension right so now it's easy to see that we don't have the tension if we have the tension we will be able to find the force f so let's go to the 4 kg block and see if we can find the tension so the 4 kg block right so let's draw a free body diagram so that we can see exactly what is happening with regards to the 4 kg block so it is being pulled by the tension and then it is being pulled down the incline by the frictional force and we have the weight and then lastly we have the normal force right so again if we say f net is equals to ma we're gonna say that the tension which is the force uh, pulling the 4 kg block up the incline minus the frictional force which is opposing the motion and fg parallel right is equals to ma so from here on we can say that uh, the tension it's equals to ma 
plus the frictional force plus fg parallel right so the tension is going to be equals to we know the mass that is 4 and then acceleration 2.5 plus frictional force which is 1 newton and then plus fg parallel so fg parallel is going to be equals to 4 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine of 30 degrees right and then if you put that in a calculator you will get 30.6 newton um, upwards right with regards to the 4 kg block and then now we can substitute this 30.6 newtons upwards to this equation of f that we had right and then we shall be able to find the force therefore so we're gonna have uh, the force being equals to 6 multiplied by 2.5 so 6 multiplied by 2.5 plus 30.9 plus the tension, which we see in it is 30.6. So 30.6, right? And then if you put that in your calculator, we shall get 76.5 newtons up the incline, right? Up the incline. Right, uh, moving to 2.4. The string joining the crease now snaps while the same force F acts on the 6 kg crate. How will this change affect the following? And then 2.4.1 says the acceleration of the 6 kg crate. Choose from increase, decrease, or remain the same. It is going to increase, right? Uh, let's not forget that for the 6 kg block, we have F minus tangent minus frictional force minus fg parallel being equals to ma so if we make acceleration the subject with the formula here we're gonna get f minus the tension minus frictional force minus fg parallel divided by m being equals to a so it should be easy to see now that if the string snaps right we won't have this minus tension anymore. So our numerator is going to increase, right? And then if the numerator increases and the denominator stays the same, we know that we're going to have a bigger number overall. The acceleration is going to increase. And then now 2.4.2 says that um, how will the change affect the following the motion of the 4 kg block? So the motion of the 4 kg block. Let's say at the time the string joining the two crease steps the 4 kg block has an acceleration of let's say v is equals to 50 meters per second right so when the string snaps that velocity is going to start decreasing because the 4 kg block is not being pulled up anymore so it will decrease and then at some point of time is going to reach zero right and then after it reaches zero is going to stop and then start sliding down